Welcome back savages to another video. In this video we're going to be installing a Geekworm 5 layer acrylic case with an active cooler on a Raspberry Pi 5. So the Raspberry Pi 5 has only recently been launched so you're limited to the types of cases available. So there's three things I'm mindful of when I'm trying to look for a case for a Raspberry Pi. Number one, does it protect the board? Number two, is it good at cooling? And number three, how quiet it is as well. So hopefully this case fulfills all three of those criteria and it's from Geekworm and it's a five layer acrylic case with an active cooler. So let's go ahead and install it. So you've got the Raspberry Pi active cooler right there. Looks like a very good quality build on there. Got the heat sink on the side there as well. And then you've got the thermal pads just on the bottom right here as well, which will go over the chips. In the box as well you also get some thermal grease so this is the installation guide that comes with it And that's the case right there so let's go ahead and install it so that's the bottom layer and the second layer applied we're just going to put that to one side we're going to bring in the Raspberry Pi next and on goes this third layer make sure you take off the protective film which is on both sides of this so that goes in like that so once you've done that we get our active cooler. This is a thermal paste that's on the bottom that'll go on the chips. And that needs to go in this way. And it just slides in there nice and comfortably. And then we just need to push through both of these notches so they come through the other side. So that one's come through. And now that one, that one's come through. And finally, we just need to connect the power adapter just to this socket right here. Okay, there we go, that's done. So now that can go on top of this. So once we've got it in there, we need to add the on off button right here. Goes in like that. Ready for the fourth layer right here. Like that. And finally, the final layer to go on is this one here. And that just goes on like that and then all we need to do is just tighten these screws And there we go, that's our case installed. So you've got easy access to the USB and the HDMI from there. No problems there getting to any of the USBs or the Ethernet. You've got good protection from the base. 
and there's cutouts there for ventilation as well which is great easy access to the SD card right here and there's actually a cutout right here to get it in easier that's your power button and you've got the fan on top so here we go we're just going to power it up now and see how it performs so we've got our USB-C connector going in there green light means it's booting up but I want to switch it off and all you do is hold that button in for a couple of seconds and it should turn from green to red so that's really good on off button right there excellent so we'll switch it back on so here we are got the Raspberry Pi 5 booted up fans going nicely um, it's virtually silent which is really good to know so yeah looking good now you can buy these items separately but I went for the bundle which includes the case and the active cooling fan all in one so I'll leave a link in the description to the case and the fan if you have any questions please ask them in the comment section below otherwise thanks for watching and I'll see you savages on the next one